Okay, welcome back. This is Gage Reality. I want to say I really do appreciate you for checking out this video. And if this is your first time, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram at Gage underscore reality. So first off, I want to say this is my favorite handgun that I own, right? So this is the Smith & Wesson M2.0 9 millimeter compact. So this gun is one of the sexiest guns that I've ever seen. Uh, when I first saw it, I had to have it, right? And so just to let you know, this is model number uh, on the Smith & Wesson website, 11683. So this is the Smith & Wesson 9mm Compact M2.0. So it ships with the 17 round and 15 round magazine uh, for home defense, I typically put the 17 round magazine in it and uh, it has these sleeves on the magazine so you can get that flush fit into the gun, the flush fitting mags. And then also you have the 15 round flush fitting mag that gives you more of that compact feel and just let you know the gun is unloaded and these magazines are unloaded. So typically if I'm rocking it inside the waistband, I'll have the 15 rounder, right? And uh, for home defense, I'll put the 17 round at night when I have it on my nightstand. So it has the three dots, white sights, iron, and uh, are they iron or steel? Let's say they're metal. So uh, they're white, but what I did, um, I shot a couple of matches with it, USPSA. Uh, like when I first started getting into that stuff, I uh, started losing my sight acquisition when I first started shooting like my first stages, like one or two stages, I would do great, you know, just sight acquisition, my speed, my grip, everything was great. And I started to fade throughout the day. Primarily because I was a new um, competitor to the sport, and also this gun really isn't set up for, you know, competition. It's it's more of a self-defense handgun. Um, so, with the four-inch barrel, is uh, it's just more of a compact, compact self-defense handgun. But what I did was I put a dot of red fingernail polish into the front sight. And that helped me out tremendously. Uh, my accuracy grew tremendously, just like leaps and bounds. Um, so I did that, uh, some 99 cent nail polish from the dollar store. That was so much less than paying for some tritium or some high vis sites. Uh, it just worked out for me. So that may be something you, you wanna incorporate into your everyday carry. And uh, it doesn't hurt the gun. You're not gonna void a warranty or you know anything like that. It comes right off. So um, it has the proprietary Armanite finish on this handgun, which is great. That Smith and Wesson Armanite finish. It has the rear fist scale serrations, the fr the front fist scale serrations. Uh, so for the front for press checks. For the rear, it helps you to clear and to put the gun in, uh, into battery, uh, fast, uh, more proficient into battery. You have your 1913 Picatinny, uh, which is great. Um, it has a really good trigger. And one thing I will say, out of all the rounds I've shot, shot through this gun, um, it's probably in the thousands. I have no idea. I've had this gun for a few years now. Uh, this trigger has smoothed out um, tremendously. I remember when I first started watching uh, reviews on it on YouTube, a lot of people say, oh, the trigger's gritty, it's gritty. Well, you know what? It was a little gritty when I first got it, but the more I shot this gun and practiced with it, the this trigger just smoothed out, and it's a hands trigger, so uh, it does have those internal mechanisms to make sure that you don't have any accidental discharges if your finger's not on the trigger properly. So you have to definitely disengage that hinge and then you'll get the break. And 
it's about a seven pound trigger and so well this one is and then the reset is right there very short reset and boom it's about three pounds so i really enjoy this handgun i really enjoy shooting it um this is a good car gun this is also a good uh, everyday carry on your person inside the waistband outside the waistband uh, it's also great for the nightstand i utilize them for all three of those aspects uh, this is a direct competitor to the Glock 19. It's a striker fired, compact, nine millimeter, four, four inch handgun. So, you know, I had the Glock 17, but one thing about the Glock 17 and Glocks period, when I shoot Glocks, I tend to uh, get slide bite because I sit so high on the gun for you know uh to mitigate the recoil and to just get good control of the handgun i sit very high when i shoot and those glocks they just tend to come right back and give me that slide bite and as you can see i have marks well you probably can't see but i have marks on my hands from shooting the glocks uh and and i shoot kind of low left with the glocks also and that's not a negative on the glocks it's more of a negative to me uh, but this gun i shoot far more superior than a glock 19 or a glock 17 or or a 22 or 23 um i just shoot these smith and weston so much better so um the takedown you know you had you do have the ambidextrous slide release or the slide catch or whatever you want to call it uh just kind of pull it back and then right here on the left hand side you have this little wing lever you can swoop that down right and you know of course make sure the handgun is unloaded and then you just let go and kind of let it go forward make sure that that levers down and then pull the trigger and gun comes apart you can see all the trigger mechanisms in there and you can go ahead and clean it up um, just like I said uh, this gun with the well, with the Smith & Wesson Armonite finish it looks barely used uh, I won't say it's brand new but it looks barely used it got the uh, spring and guide rod of course you got the four inch barrel right here and that slide is just beautiful. The lines on this handgun um, is what really attracted me to it. And uh, watching some YouTube videos, I watch a lot of Jerry Mitchell uh, videos, and you know him being the fastest shooter in the world, and you know uh, he runs Smith and Wesson. That motivated me to look into the gun even more. Um, you know one thing i say videos that people put out uh, of these handguns of you know not just smith and wesson but any handgun they do motivate people to go out and buy so uh you know he, he's a guy i watched a ton of his videos he works smith and wesson smith and wesson has been around for a long time it's kind of a no-brainer to get with a a very old company that puts out quality uh handguns and um I shoot a lot of Smith & Wesson's. I own a lot. I actually have stock in the company. So I don't make any money from, you know, sponsorships or anything like that. This is my own personal handgun, but I do own stock in uh, American Outdoors. So they do give you an owner's pamphlet. Also, you're going to get a lock. Um, the gun, I think it ships with two of these sleeves uh, for the 17 rounder. Uh, also, you're going to get these back straps, right? So these back straps, you're going to get a small, a medium, medium, large, and a large. And it's so easy to change out these back straps. Take the magazine out. And, of course, make sure the handgun is empty. But if you look down here, you have a little pin. You just turn that pin and you just wiggle it out, right? Some people don't like the pin, some people do. I don't care, I mean, I think it works great. This is an ingenious idea. I don't know how long gun manufacturers have been doing this, but this is a great idea 
to just change out the back strap. So I had a medium on there just now and I'm putting on the small. Well, hold on. I never took the medium off. This is the medium and I'll put on the small and just like that. So let's say for instance, if you are sharing a gun with you and your wife or you and your, your son or your daughter, everyone has different uh, uh, hand sizes in your home just change out the grips or you could take it uh, to the range shoot uh, with practicing and you can see hey you know I really prefer shooting with this grip I really prefer shooting with this grip because just holding it like this and feeling it in the in the uh, gun store you can really get a good idea of how the gun is gonna be but once you start shooting it the 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 grip that you feel like works best for you just holding it in your hand once you start shooting it that will change uh because you'd be like oh man you know it feels good with with the medium but i prefer shooting it with the large and me personally i have large hands and i prefer shooting it with the large so i can have more real estate for my support hand um just you know getting around it and really getting in on it and being able to um, get in and, and dig in and, and mitigate that recoil and, and have uh, good control of the of the handgun. I, I really do appreciate the idea of different bag straps. So just like I said, you know, there's several handguns in this uh, realm that four inch barrel, uh, 15 rounder, 17 rounder, compact realm, uh, you know, CZ P10C, the Glock 19, like I mentioned, you know, the Smith & Wesson 9 compact M2.0. Uh, you have a lot to choose from, but uh, just overall with value of, of quality parts, the price, the warranty, uh, the company, I just thought it was a no brainer to get this um back in the day and it's so sexy like i just can't say that enough this this gun is so sexy um i really like it i i the glocks are less desirable with the looks and i know a lot of people say well it's not about what it, how it looks how does it work so I, I get that but i want my gun to work great and to look good right out of the box i don't want to have to go and keep doing upgrades to a gun to make it look good um, also, you got a plastic case. So if this is your first gun or uh, you only have one or two guns, you don't have a range bag, you know, this plastic case could be great to have to transport it from your home to the range or from your, from your car to your home. Um, it also has a little hole here for a lock. So if you have kids at home, they're not quite ready to deal with firearms, you wanna lock it up. Just put a lock on there and um, lock it down so no one can get into it. Or uh, you don't want certain individuals getting to your handgun, so lock it down. Uh, and of course, it has these flip up uh, little latches here. Uh, I think if I ever have a yard sale, I would sell this box um, because I don't need it. You know, I, I keep all my guns locked up and I have dedicated range bags. But that's pretty much about this Smith & Wesson Compact M2.0 9mm. Uh, if you have any questions about it, please put them below. If you don't mind, like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. I think one of the upgrades that I will do to this handgun is definitely um, putting in an Apex trigger. Uh, once I do that, I'm definitely going to take it out of my everyday rotation. I may carry it uh, at 10% of what I carry it now. I, I pretty much carry this every day. If I, you know, um, I mean, every day. Uh, I, I do swap out from time to time, but this is about 90%, and I'll probably put it at 10% once I put that Apex in there because um, I would like to see how those Apex triggers will work. Um, I've only shot them a couple of times, but I never had one into my personal carry. So that's it. This is Gage Reality. Thanks for checking out the video. Have a great day.